welcome to this presentation this is the 16th in the series of short videos each featuring five multiple choice questions covering diverse unrelated aspects of psychiatry each mcq has four options of which one is correct brief information related to the questions will be provided these are the topics in this video question 1 vmat2 inhibitors are used in the management of which of the following adverse effects of antipsychotics there are four options please go through the options and make your selection if you want you can pause the video while you decide your answer the correct answer is d tardive dyskinesia vmat2 inhibitors are used in the management of tardive dyskinesia which is a major adverse effect caused by long term use of antipsychotics especially first generation antipsychotics vmat2 inhibitors block the vesicular monoamine transporter type 2 located on synaptic vesicles of monoaminergic neurons including dopaminergic noradrenergic and serotonergic neurons vmat2 inhibition results in a reduction in the storage and release of monoamines particularly dopamine the two main indications of vmat2 inhibitors are chorea in huntington's disease and tardive dyskinesia examples of vmat inhibitors include tetrabenazine dutetrabenazine and valbenazine tetrabenazine is an old drug while the other two are much more recent this is a pictorial representation of how vmat2 inhibitors function when they are functioning normally dopamine enters the synaptic vesicle via the vmat2 and then it is released into the synapse when the vmat2 inhibitors block the vmat2 dopamine is no longer able to enter the synaptic vesicle and so there is a reduction or lack of dopamine release into the synapse question 2 the n back task is used to assess which of the following please go through the options and make your selection the correct answer is d working memory the n back n back task is used to assess working memory the n back task or n back paradigm was developed by wayne kirchner in 1958 it is a commonly used psychological test for assessing working memory during the test the subject 
is presented a series of stimuli one by one. For each stimulus, the subject has to decide whether the current stimulus, for example, an alphabetical letter matches the stimulus that was presented n items ago. If, it, if the n is 2, it is 2 back. If the n is 3, it is 3 back and so on. The higher the n, the more difficult the task. The same principles used for testing may have therapeutic potential for improving working memory. Working memory impairment is a well-recognized finding in schizophrenia. This is a pictorial representation of the NBAC task. There are four types of NBAC tasks shown in this picture. 0 back, 1 back, 2 back, and 3 back. 0 back is the simplest, while 3 back is the toughest out of these four. Those who are interested can pause and note down the details. Question 3. Which of the following is not a feature of clinical reasoning that uses system 2 type of thinking. Please go through the four options and make your selection. The correct answer is B. B is the statement which is not correct. B is not correct because clinical reasoning that uses system 2 type of thinking is much slower than clinical reasoning which uses system 1 type of thinking. System 1 and system 2 thinking were proposed by Daniel Kahneman a psychologist who won the Economics Nobel Prize to explain how people make decisions. The table below highlights the key differences between the systems when applied to clinical reasoning, for example, while arriving at a diagnosis. Those who are interested can pause and note down the details. It is important to realize that the same individual can use both system 1 and system 2 as per the requirements of the situation. For example, an experienced clinician would normally use system 1 in a busy clinic where time is of the essence and they are able to make quick diagnosis using illness scripts which employ pattern recognition. But the same experienced clinician can seamlessly transition to a system 2 type of thinking when he or she encounters a rare, complex or atypical case where there is diagnostic uncertainty. Question 4. The image shown here represents which of the following concepts in genetics? Please go through the options and choose your answer. The correct answer is C. Single nucleotide polymorphism. This image represents a single nucleotide polymorphism. Single nucleotide polymorphism or SNP refers to single nucleotide variants 
that are present in at least 1% of the population. A SNP is the substitution of one nucleotide base by another at a single position in the DNA sequence. As you may recall, the four DNA bases are adenine, cytosine, guanine and thymine. A pairs with T and C pairs with G. The two main types of SNPs are synonymous and non-synonymous. The role of SNPs in the etiology and pathophysiology of major psychiatric disorders is an important area of contemporary neuroscience research. For example, by international organizations like the Psychiatric Genomics Consortium. Question five, which of the following is correct regarding personality disorders in ICD-11. Please go through the four options and select your answer. The correct answer is A. There are no individual categories of personality disorder in ICD-11. In ICD-11, there are no separate categories of different personality disorders. There is only a single general diagnosis of personality disorder. There are five, five trait domains, namely negative affectivity, detachment, dissociality, disinhibition, and anencastia. The assessment of these five trait domains will help make a diagnosis of personality disorder. B is incorrect because there is only a borderline qualifier for patients with features of borderline personality disorder. This is only a qualifier and does not have a separate diagnostic code. C is incorrect because there is provision for grading severity of personality disorder in ICD-11. Personality disorder can be graded as mild, moderate or severe, each with its own diagnostic code. Severity is rated based on the degree of disturbance in interpersonal functioning, risk of harm to self, others, etc. D is incorrect because this provision of an alternative hybrid dimensional categorical model of personality disorder is present in DSM-5 and not in ICD-11. That brings us to the end of this presentation. Hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.